Tournament of the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Hexathlon Season 5. Today is our second to last episode, and we are going to be taking on the Icarus Cid, or uh, no, Opa Lucid, Opa Lucid City Pokemon Gym Leader Iris, the girl who knows the heart of dragons. So the mother of dragons, uh, Daenerys Targaryen herself, we will be taking on today. Uh, and uh, as this is Pokemon White, we are taking on Iris as opposed to, I think, Drayden is the other potential option, I think, if you're playing Black version. Um, but yeah, so we are all ready and raring to go. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so he's going to talk. Um, so I did a bunch of grinding. I don't want you guys to freak out. Everybody is level 50 now, which is going to put us a little over-leveled for the gym today. Um, but... If you guys remember what I said last week, we're also going to be tr going and running through Victory Road today as soon as we finish with the gym. So, um, I wanted to make sure that I was at a level where I could be, I could contend with Victory Road, uh, and so that's where this put us. I think Iris's aces are in like the mid 40s, and so we do have, uh, we, we talked about this before where I'm allowed to grind up to like five ish levels or something over their ace, give or take, you know, five to eight. I, I forget what we decided on exactly, but. Um, I, 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 I hope you guys are okay with it, uh, is, is what I'm saying, I guess. Um, because that's just where we're at, uh, I didn't want to, you know, lose people in Victory Road. That would be, like, the most depressing thing ever. Um, and, uh, and so this is, this is, uh, what we've got here. So, um, yeah, everybody's level 50, and, uh, I didn't, I didn't end up grinding up, um, Dredigan, uh, uh, Ridley, Ripley, Ripley, no, Ri Ridley. No, yeah, Ridley. Uh, <laughs> the Dread again we caught last episode, I did not end up grinding hit her up, um, just because I, in the end, I when I was like playing with the levels I wanted to get to, etc., it wasn't going to be worth it. I'm like, you know what, let's just go through with our team. There's no reason to throw a Dread again in here at this point, because uh, I definitely wasn't going to be bringing it to like the Elite Four or anything. Like, I'm pretty happy with this team. Oh, actually, whoops! Uh, <laughs> I did go to Mistalon Cave, and I got, um, I got the Dusk Stone. Uh, so let's actually use this real quick. I wanted to save Lumiere's Evolution for you guys. Uh, there's no real, like, moves in play at all. Uh, like, it, Lumiere doesn't learn anything after it becomes Chandelure. And there's not really much I'm waiting on, uh, for Chandelure. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and evolve him now, and we'll be good to go then, uh, with our Chandelure. Anything else we need, we can potentially get with TMs, like Energy Ball, Fire Blast, things like that. Uh, so before we actually take on the Elite Four, obviously I probably won't be getting to it today, uh, but before we take on the Elite Four, we will be making sure that all of our Pokemon are, are totally squared away with their moves, etc. Um, switch Lumiere up front so we can see him and all his Chandelure goodness. Oh wow, I guess I should have paid attention to what he was talking about with the gym. Um... Okay, no, here we go. We're on the dragon now. I was thinking, I remember something different. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, I also realized after last episode, um, as I was editing it, that uh, I totally forgot to tell you guys my answer to last week's question of the day. And last week's question of the day, because we spent a lot of time in the Relic Castle, um, and, and we went to the museum and things like that, I wanted to know what your favorite... Uh, fossil Pokemon was, and if you could uh, have your druthers, what would be... Ooh, this is a bad matchup. Uh, sorry, Lumiere, let's get you out of here. Um, and if you had your druthers, what would be um, your uh, ideal prehistoric animals to be the Gen 7 fossil Pokemon? Um, and so I think for me... It, it, this is, my favorite is a hard question because I love almost all of the fossil Pokemon. There's very few fossil Pokemon that I am not a fan of. Um, and, uh, and so it's difficult for me to pinpoint a favorite because I really don't have any, like, non-favorites. I, I, I love them all. But I think for me in Gen 6 that Tyrant and Tyrantrum, um, definitely edged out, uh, the competition and just kind of took a step above. Um, I, I, I... I really like both of the fossils from that generation, but again, I, I like all the fossils for the most part. Uh, there's very few that I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know that there's any that I'm like, oh, I don't like that one. Uh, I mean, 
it, it's just it's just good all around in, from from my perspective. So uh, yeah, it's uh, now what's going on up here? Okay, nothing apparently. Um, but I think that if I had to choose one, which I made you guys choose, so I suppose I should. Um, that, uh, I think Tyrantrum is probably my favorite. He's just amazing. Uh, how can you not, uh, how can you not love, uh, the little, uh, T-Rex? Uh, that's just fantastic. So, um, I really enjoy him. As for what I would like to see in future fossil Pokemon, um, I I'm kind of split. So, I love that we've kind of worked our way up the the evolutionary timeline here, and we've got our way to actual dinosaurs now. We had the Brachiosaurus and the T-Rex the last time. Um, the argument could be made that um, I think Bastiodon is, is supposed to be based off of kind of a Triceratops sort of deal, although obviously it's a bit more of an abstract one, uh, given uh, that it doesn't have horns or anything. But, um, and, and obviously Rampardos is a Pachycephalosaurus, so, so we've, we've hit dinosaurs before, um, we took a step, uh, you know, not backwards, I guess, but what, Gen 5 was obviously Archon, so that's even, yeah, I guess that's even, you know, moving a little further beyond dinosaurs, because you've got, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the giant sea turtles, which have been around forever with, uh, Tortuga and Caracosta, and then, obviously, you've got the, the early, uh, you know, prehistoric bird-type, uh, creatures, uh, with Archon and Archeops. So you take a step back at, over above, and then we kind of come back a little bit with uh, with uh, Gen 6, uh, going into strict dinosaurs again. Um, but I think, you know, there's so many cool dinosaurs that we have still yet to get a, uh, a Pokemon at all from. Uh, like, we, how do we not have a Stegosaurus-inspired uh, Pokemon? And the, I know my Pokemon pretty well. I would be shocked if we have one, and I'm forgetting it. If I am, I forget, or I apologize. But, uh, you know, uh, just, you know, there's so many great ones. But then at the same time, you know, we take a step beyond dinosaurs, and we get to kind of like Ice Age prehistoric mammal kind of deal. Um, and I think that that would be pretty cool, too. I mean, I know technically Raikou's like a saber-toothed tiger, um, but I think a fossil saber-toothed tiger with a cool typing combination, uh, would be really awesome. Um, you know, and I don't know what that would be necessarily. My first instinct would probably be electric rock or something, um, but obviously that, uh, that kind of, uh, you know, is a little too close to home with Raikou. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, some prehistoric mammal, and I can't really think of, uh, uh, any besides, like, the mammoth, which we have mammoth swine. Um, it probably hits too close to home. Uh, you probably wouldn't have like a mammoth fossil Pokemon, um, but something you know, saber tooth tigery or uh, something like that would be pretty cool. Um, or or even if you you know, yeah, I don't know. There's just so many so many cool prehistoric uh, animals you could potentially do. Um, but yeah, I think like something like a Stegosaurus or a, one of my favorite uh, is it Hadrosaur. The, the, the duck build, the, you know, the duck uh, build dinosaurs or whatever. I'd love something along that line. That would be really cool. Uh, so, yeah. Those, those are my answers to last week's questions of the day. Um, I apologize. Normally, I throw that out uh, in in the week that I'm, I'm asking you guys. I tell you guys my answer, and I just totally, totally forgot to do that. So, I wanted to make sure I threw that out there. I appreciated uh, getting to read uh, the responses that we got on that last week. Uh, it's just a fun, speculative kind of kind of thing to delve into. So, uh, all right, Louis is kicking butt, man. Look at him go.
Okay, there we go. This feels like the home stretch. Let's see how we're doing. Make it up there. Beautiful. All right. Okay, then we get on the tail here. Oop. Turn around, Tor. Here we go. There we go. Um, <clears throat> nope, we got another battle. But I think we probably this will be the last one, I would think. Hopefully. Uh, we have 10 years experience battling. I give you a taste of veteran skill. All right, girl. Let's do it. Um, but while we are while we're wrapping up um, the gym here, hopefully soon, um, I wanted to throw today's question of the day out at you guys because it's an extremely important one. This is probably one of the most uh, important questions of the days we've had all series because, um, as I said, we're doing Victory Road directly after the gym. That's in this episode, um, which means that Elite Four and uh, and N and everything uh, essentially the finale is happening happening next episode. Um, so what we need to, what we traditionally do with the Hexathlon, um, if you guys are new, um, I'll run through this briefly. But the Hexathlon, obviously, um, Hexathlon is a six-event challenge. The Hexathlon is a six-event Nuzlocke, um, which means we run through six uh, regions. Uh, this is the fifth of six. We are very, very close uh, to being done with with all of this here, um, but um, we are not quite there yet. Uh, so, uh, bringing in Fracture, uh, oof. just now realizing I don't have a lot, uh, <laughs> we're bringing in Kensei, uh, he should be able to brute force even if it's a resistance, um, so we're in the fifth season of a six season uh, event, so we're very, very close to the end, but, um, that means we are starting, um, as I said last time, we are starting up a new season. This will be happening in early to mid-August um, when we're starting up season six. Uh, we normally take the summers off uh, from the Hexathlon, um, and uh, and we will be running through Pokemon X. Uh, but bef when we do that, that means we will be starting a new series. Or not a new series, but a new season of this series. Uh, and that means we need a new starter Pokemon. Um, <clears throat> and you guys have been really gracious to help me pick out most of my starters throughout the series. I think the only one that I really... well. I influenced heavily season four, um, and then I, I just outright picked season one because uh, I was that was the first season. I was starting that before there was any background uh, to anything like this. Um, so, um, all right, so we do that. Do I need to jump there? I feel like I probably do. Have I battled this girl already? Yes, I have. Okay, so I'm gonna need to jump down on this hand probably. Um, <clears throat> But I need you guys to help me pick my starter, um, and and the the choices that we have are going to um, beautiful. Uh, all right, so here we are finally being able to take on Iris. Um, let's yeah, okay. So what I want to do real quick, uh, the choices that we have are technically um, Chespin, uh, Froki, and um, Blazik. Uh, F Fennekin, thank you. Uh, I don't know who I'm thanking. Uh, so Chespin, Froki, and Fennekin. Um, <clears throat> and, and I say technically those are our choices because here's the deal. Um, I don't like to restrict you guys at all. Um, but um, <clears throat> we already did a Pokemon X run on this channel. And it was it was a relatively low quality. I did, as, I did a good a job as I could, but I don't have a capture card. Um, in order to do Season 6, we're going to be borrowing the Espresso Cats capture card. Um, and, and at the time that I did my Pokemon X run, we had nothing of the sort. So, um, what, what happened is, um, that we, we ended up recording it with our, my phone. Uh, and I, I made a nice layout for it and everything. I tried to make it as nice as I could, but it wasn't high quality, necessarily. Um, and, and so, but the fact of the matter is, we did a run uh, with, with that. Um, so, um, the starter we used at that point was Chespin, because I love Chespin. Chespin was the guy I was going with when, when I first got, it was a, it was a blind run, it had just come out, like, I went out and bought the game at midnight, and I started recording, at, you know, two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had a whole deal. I'd never played a 3DS game on, on my 3DS before, and so I didn't realize I needed, uh, a memory card, things like this. It was a whole, it was a whole deal. Um, but we eventually got it recorded that morning that the first episode came out. Like, it was full on blind. I didn't even know all the new Pokemon and everything yet. Um, and so, uh, it, it got to the point where, you know, I just, I picked, you know, I was going Chespin. Chespin was my guy. 
and, and I really enjoyed that. But, seeing as we already have a Pokemon X series on this channel, where Chespin was our starter, I, I almost want to disqualify him, just to keep things interesting. Um, and, and if I get an overwhelming response that you guys want to see Chespin again, we can do that. I, I mean, I'm not going to complete, I'm not going to say Chespin's not an option, but if we could expand our horizons, that would be awesome. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Um, we've used, throughout this run, we've used Squirtle. Uh, we used Blaze, or Torchic. Uh, we had a Chikorita, um, a, a Turtwig, uh, an ill-fated Turtwig, and um, we, this season, had... Uh, obviously, uh, Oshawa. So, um, whatever you guys want to do, um, let me know. Uh, it, you guys will remember that, um, uh, and, and I guess if you're new, you may not remember, I guess, but um, part of the Hicksathlock is not only, okay, we're doing six regions, but um, we have our transfers. So, like, we've got Toadette with us uh, right now, um, and, and, and so Toadette's been an amazing addition to this team. Really, I don't know if we could have done it without Toadette, but... Uh, we had Dantas as well, who has now died. Um, but, so, take that into consideration. Well, take take whatever you want to into consideration when you're selecting the starter. This is your question of the day. Um, so, I need to know which starter between Chespin, Froakie, and Fennekin you would like me to use. Um, and, uh, you know, just a as a side note, keep in mind who you might be wanting to suggest as our transfers. Um, which is, uh, again, if you're new... And any Pokemon uh, that has, uh, oh, it randomly selects, okay. Um, any Pokemon that was a member of the Hall of Fame um, is eligible to, um, is, is eligible to be a, a transfer member. Uh, and we'll go through in detail all of those Pokemon next time. If you guys want a, a more detailed thing as you're trying to pick the starter, um, you can go watch the last episode of last season. Um, and they'll all be listed there, um, ex with the exception of the Pokemon who are event or, uh, hopefully going to survive through the Hall of Fame next episode. They will the Pokemon from this season will also be included, but pretty much everyone who is listed in the end of last season's episode, with the exception of Dantes who has now died, um, is is eligible for transfer into Gen Six. Um, but also you can take into consideration any of these Pokemon that you might want to see again. Um, uh, and it's just, it's kind of up to you guys. So, um, if you want to take those into consideration, you know, like, for example, if you really want Leonardo, uh, or, or Blastoise, or Squirtle to be transferred in again because of, you know, uh, you know, Mega Blastoise is in, is in, uh, in the game, um, then, then that's something that you might want to take into consideration. Maybe you don't vote Froki then for the starter. Or, or, you know, if you desperately want to see, I don't know, uh, um, who, who was our fire Pokemon last season? I don't even, I don't even remember. Um, I, and that makes me sad. Uh, maybe we didn't even have one. Who were our transfers into last season? Did we have, uh, was it Thor? Or not, uh, was Zuko in last season? I'm so turned around now. It's it's there's been six, five seasons of this, but but so just just as an example, uh, you know, if if you have in mind the transfers you want to do, whatever criteria you want to use in selecting your starter, let me actually I'd love to know. Uh, but we're not voting on transfers this episode. That's just kind of an aside, so you don't like get to next episode and be like, oh well, I forgot that I da, 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 so I'm gonna change my uh, my vote and all that stuff. So. Uh, there we go. We beat Iris, uh, which is exciting. It took us a little longer to get through the gym than I anticipated, um, but we'll, we're going to zip right through Victory Road, hopefully, and uh, and get going here. Um, in fact, I need... Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, so we get the Legend Badge. Alrighty. So, so yeah. Um, again, whatever criteria you want to use, I'm not, I don't want to influence it besides uh, throwing out there that um, consider which, may, maybe consider which transfers you want, uh, because, you know, I probably won't want to be having two fire Pokemon or two grass Pokemon or two water Pokemon, uh, on the team, and, um, you know, it'll also be, um, you know, just, uh, just a, a fun thing for you guys to kind of think about what your favorite starter was maybe when you played through Pokemon X, um, so I, I, I don't want to influence beyond the fact that we just, we, we have used Chespin, so I, 
If we could shake it up, that would be awesome. But if, if everybody would love to see Chespin, I, I'm not going to fight you on it. Um, and, uh... I thought it would be better to tell you in person. I don't care, Professor. Um, in fact, we're going to speed up here uh, and, and just uh, leave her in the dust. Um, but... Oh, where she's taking us places. Um, anyway, so I'll finish what I'm saying. But so yeah, uh, again, here are your options for the question of the day: Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki. Those will be the choices uh, that we have for starter uh, in next season. So um, make sure you guys get your votes in on that. Um, and uh, once you get through the Victory Road, which is past the gates, you're finally at the Pokemon League. Uh, oh, that just made me think of when I was showing you around the Pokemon Center in Eculentown. Oh my God. Okay, Juniper, you, you gotta, I, 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 I have found myself gaining an appreciation for some of the Pokemon of this season, uh, of this generation, and I, I've been doing that a lot through Showdown and other things. There's, there's lots of Pokemon in this season, generation that I like and gives me a greater appreciation for this generation, but my god, is this the most talky generation that has ever happened in the world? I, I still, I, I can't stand, and I and I appreciate you guys that are like all about the story and stuff, but my god, if they would just let me play this game, it would be fantastic sometimes. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I, each his own, if you guys love it, that's great, but man, I have not really gained the, gained the appreciation for this generation that I would have liked. Um, I mean, there's so much stuff I had to cut out um, and just speed up through, and it's like, oh my gosh, these games take forever. I'm so, I miss the days when I could sit down and beat Pokemon, you know, red in a sitting because it's just so, you know, straightforward. Um, am I healing my Pokemon again? <sighs> okay. Uh, so, I mean, love some of the Pokemon, <clears throat> still can't really stand the games, uh, which is unfortunate. The region's kind of cool, um, but uh, it's it's a bit much uh, in terms of talkiness. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so... Here we go, guys. We are going to quickly speed through the victory road here um, and just see where that takes... Oh. Hi, Trainer. Do you have a minute? I just heard this one. There's a storm. Okay. They're talking about the stupid thunderous Pokemon, which, again, uh, more worthless Pokemon that I hate. Um, and we will uh, be back here in just a second. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like we did end up with a Durant uh, here in uh, the um, <clears throat> Victory Road. Um, episode's getting a little long. It took us longer in the gym than I anticipated, so I'm probably going to skip through, like, speed up most of this unless something super exciting happens, uh, like our catch, which isn't really exciting at all. 
uh, because even even if it was like the best Pokemon in the game, I okay, and we crit it even. Um, okay, well there we go. All right, guys, we are at the top of the mountain here. Uh, we are uh, right at the entrance to the Elite Four Pokemon League. Here we go. Uh, and so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we are going to take on the Pokemon League and wrap this, series, or this season up. Not the series quite yet. That'll happen next fall. But um, the season we are going to wrap up and I'm going to probably go back and sweep through the rest of the victory road, pick up any items that I missed. I intentionally skipped those just because the, the first part of the episode got really long in the gym and I don't want this to be like a 40 minute episode. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been torn with the great and you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. I will make sure that I am counting your votes as they come in for t this week's question of the week, which is again... Uh, to vote for the starter that you would like me to use next season uh, when we go to Kalos. So Chespin, Froakie, or Fennekin. Uh, and just put your choices in the comments down below and give me whatever justification or reasoning you guys want to use there. Uh, but yeah, this has been fun. Uh, and I've been Torn with the Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure to those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one.